Hey, I'm Paul Stachnack from Butterscotch.com, and welcome to our continuing series on how do I use the Nintendo Wii. Now, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to back up and move your save game files to an SD card. Also, I'm going to show you how to manage your virtual console games that you've bought from the Wii Store. So let's get to it. Now, if you recall my previous series on the, uh, the Wii, you'll know that if you go down to the Wii options, you'll have an option here to do data management. So that's the first screen that comes up. If we click data management, we have two options here between save data and channels. We're going to get to both today. But right now, I want to take a look at save data. And again, we have an option between Wii and uh, Nintendo GameCube. GameCube will be covered in another series, so let's hit the Wii. Now, as you can see, this basically right here are all the different blocks that I have for, uh, for game saves. As you can see, I have 1758 blocks free. That's Nintendo's sort of management, memory management system. Don't really know what it means. If we uh, go up here to the top, here's my SD card. As you can see, this has 15,000 blocks open, so obviously I can hold a lot more on my SD card. So in this case, let's move a file over to the SD card so I can show you how easy that is. This is Super Mario Galaxy 2. This is a save. As you can see, it takes up one block of space. I have an option to move, copy, or erase this file. In this case, I'm going to copy, and it automatically only gives me the option of copying to my SD card because that's the only other form of media available. So there you go. The data has been copied, and now if we exit out of this and we click SD card, now you can see that that save file exists there as well. So the, the thing is though, if you want to copy over, say, games that you've downloaded, see here it says Super Mario Brothers, but this isn't actually a game, as you can see it's denying me it. This is just a save for Super Mario uh, for the NES. So if I want to actually move my virtual console games, I have to click on channels. And from here, what I can do is actually have access to not only all the channels that I've downloaded from the, the Wii Store, but also my virtual console game. So here's Super Mario Brothers. If I click the SD card at the top, as you can see, I've already downloaded Harvest Moon to my SD card. That exists there as well. So I'll show you how to move that as well. It's the same process. You click on the game. It's going to, as you can see, it takes up 20 blocks. And again, I can move it, copy it, or erase it. I'm going to move this to my SD card. And as you can see now, I'm freeing up space on my Wii. So you'll see that 1758 goes to 1777. And uh, now in my SD card, not only do I have Harvest Moon, but I also have Super Mario Brothers. Now bear in mind, the weird thing about the Wii is that you can't play games off the SD card. It's just this weird system that they have. So if I go to the SD card menu, you'll see I have my two games. If I, for instance, I wanted to play Harvest Moon, I will not be able to play the game off the SD card. What the system does is, I click on it here, it's going to have an option to start. So you have an SD card menu and I have start. If I press the start button, what it does now is it actually will download and install the game to the Wii internal system memory, which means that even though you can back up games to an SD card, you can't play them off there and you always have to have enough space left over on your system to be able to launch and play the game. So bear that in mind when you're downloading virtual console releases and you're backing them up to your SD card as well. So hopefully you have a better idea now of how to manage the data on your Wii or SD card. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to turn your Wii into a GameCube. And remember, for anything I talked about here, check out the show notes at butterscotch.com, and I'll see you next time.